Hello there guys and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for episode number 4 of FIFA 16 players to watch out for in career mode. Now this is obviously the series where I bring you 10 awesome players who should be absolute gods on FIFA 16 based on their potential on FIFA 15 but also more importantly their performances in real life. If you have any suggestions for the next episode feel free to drop them in the comment section below and I will put them into either next episode or into future episodes after that. But again if we could smash 50 likes on this episode that would be absolutely awesome. 50 likes and of course you'll see another episode next Wednesday but it is now time to get into the 10 amazing players who should be absolute gods on FIFA 16 and first of all we've got the most suggested player from last episode this is Yusuf Poulsen um, now this guy got suggested to me quite a lot and he's just I mean he's he's stupidly good he's stupidly good he's got really good pace really good strength decent dribbling but also good finishing when he reaches his potentially 69 start at the start of the game at the moment I would have thought it'll get maybe 70 or 71 if not he might stay at 69 but still that would be very very good high attacking and defensive work rate from Denmark playing for Red Bull Leipzig in the Austrian league correct me if I'm wrong four star skill moves and three star weak foot as well as amazing uh, acceleration sprint speed agility jumping strength aggression dribbling He's just got the lot. He is a complete striker. It is absolutely insane for such a young player. Next up, though, we've got a slightly under-the-radar player. This is Quarantine Tolisso, the centre mid from Lyon. Now, this guy, I said Marcel Sabitzer was a god last time. This guy might even surpass him. Look at how all-round his stats are. 82 shot power there as well, also springing to mind, as well as good jumping and stamina. But look at his versatility. He can play as a centre mid, defensive mid, left back, or a right back. High attacking and defensive work rate. Three-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. 19 years of age from France. 73 stats potential must be at least 84 85 he is insane he's an all-rounder he can play everywhere literally if you need any hole plugging in your squad I would massively suggest getting him I would say Taliso and Sabitza should be your first signings on whatever career mode you do on FIFA 16 but next up we've got Delhi Ali now this guy I think scored 16 goals and got 11 assists for MK Dons last season in League One which has led to him being signed by Tottenham. Means he won't be available in the first season but as you can see he's got good stats. 18 years of age from England, can play as a uh, centre mid, defensive mid with high attacking work rate, 3 star weak foot and 3 star skill moves but played very very well in real life and that's led to him getting a much better, uh, well that's led to him signing for a much bigger team. Next up, though, we've got Levin Kazawa, the 77 stat left back from France, playing for Monaco. Really good acceleration as well as sprint speed, agility, jumping, strength, re uh, balance, stamina, reactions. The whole physical page is green. So is the whole mental page. 82 crossing as well as good ball control, dribbling, marking, sliding tackle and stand tackle. 21 years of age, 3-star weak foot, 3-star skill moves, high attacking work rate, which means he'll support the wingers down the, uh, down the line and also put a lot of crosses into the box with that 82 crossing. And he looks as if he's going to be a very good player. If you need a left back behind Willems, I would say he's probably your next, uh, next decent shout. Next up, though, we've got Tiaron Cherry. I don't know if I pronounced that right or Tiar Tiaron Sherry, not entirely sure. He plays for FC Groningen. He's just signed for QPR, so he won't be available in the first season. But he's sort of an under-the-radar player. He scored 17 goals, I think it was, and got 11 assists. I'm just going to check that out now. He got, yeah, 17 goals and 12 assists in the Eredivisie this season, leading to his signing for QPR. He can play as an attacking mid or a right mid. Two-star weak foot, three-star skill moves from Holland. Playing for Groningen in the Eredivisie at the moment, but will be under QPR in the Championship on FIFA 16. Next up, though, we've got Jack Grealish. 71 stat winger from Aston Villa. Really good acceleration as well as balance, sprint speed and agility on this guy as well as good ball control and dribbling vision and short passing too uh, so he could possibly get away with playing as a centre mid with that good short pass but not very good long pass unfortunately he can play as a left mid or an attacking mid he's 18 years of age from Ireland three star weak foot four star skill moves I would expect him to be about 72 73 on FIFA 16 and potentially have something like 84 or 85 potential so he should be very very good indeed the Aston Villa winger Next up, though, we've got another guy that you guys will all know, and this is Briel Donald Mbolo. After his winter upgrade, this guy looks like an absolute animal. 82 acceleration, 88 sprint speed, amazing balance, stamina, strength, jumping, agility, ball control, dribbling, good finishing as well, short passing, shot power. The, the guy is just unstoppable. He's from Switzerland, 17 years of age, playing for Basel at the moment. He hasn't moved to another team, so he should still be available in the first season on FIFA 16. I'm really looking forward to signing some of these guys because some of them will be absolute gods. He's 73 stat at the moment. He'll probably keep that stat at the moment, but certainly lighting up the Swiss League. Next up, though, we've got the first centre-back of this list, and this is F. Empoli, sorry, Daniele Rugani. 74 stat centre-back. 
Now, playing in, I don't know, are Empoli in Serie A or Serie B? If he's playing in Serie B, then it's going to be extremely easy to sign him in FIFA 16. I think Empoli might be in Serie A, though, now. He's 19 years of age, centre-back from Italy, three-star weak foot, two-star skill moves, very, very solid defensive stats, including marking, stand tackling, and sliding tackling, but also good strength and uh, heading accuracy as well, which means he's a bit of an aerial threat, too. Next, though, though, next up, though, even, we've got the Croatian gem from a Barcelona B. Now, this guy will be slightly confusing, as to who he's playing for. If he's not playing for FC Barcelona B in the uh, Liga Adelante on FIFA 16, he'll have been promoted to the, well, Barcelona A team in the Liga BBVA. As you can see, though, good agility as well as speed, acceleration, reactions, ball control, dribbling, long passing, long shots, curve, the lot really can play as a centre mid or a right winger from Croatia, 19, uh, sorry, 18 years of age, with three star weak foot, four star skill moves. The only thing that lets the 70 stack uh, player down is potentially his stamina. Hopefully that improves though on FIFA 16. But next up, though, We've got the final player, and this is Patrick Bamford, another guy who was suggested to me last episode. He's played 45 games this season, getting 19 goals and 7 assists. So if that doesn't deserve a better stat than 65 and a better potential than 80, then I'm just, I'm sorry, then there's something wrong. He's gone out on loan to Crystal Palace, so you won't be able to sign him in the first season, but after that, hopefully he should have a good potential with the stats that he's got in real life. High attacking work rate, medium defensive work rate, three star uh, weak foot, two star skill moves, 20 years of age from England, good sprint speed, acceleration, and finishing mainly, but hopefully a lot of his stats all round will improve on FIFA 16, because he's been an absolute god in the lower divisions in, uh, in real life for the last two years so hopefully the Chelsea Loney out on loan to Crystal Palace another BPL team for those who don't know he hopefully will have a much better stat and thus potential on FIFA 16 but we've managed to rattle through 10 players there feel free to leave a like if you did enjoy that episode of players to watch out for on FIFA 16 uh, 50 likes hit again would be absolutely awesome subscribe if you are new around here as well and comment about enjoying the video if you enjoyed it that much as well as your suggestions for next episode and episodes beyond too some amazing players in that one Toliso, Mbolo and Poulsen look like they are going to be three of the most anticipated players on the next game as well as perhaps Fekir and uh, and maybe Sabitzer as well. I'm really looking forward to those five players because those those guys should be absolute gods and I hope they do end up being so and you can sign them as well afterwards. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a good day, enjoy yourselves and goodbye. <laughs>